Good morning everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Hunt for Bronze. For those Brisbane locals, you probably have a fair indication of where I am at the moment, but, and probably of what I'm doing. But this is episode two of The Hunt for Gold, my mission to catch a Brisbane River threadfin salmon. I know there's been a few videos out and about lately doing it, which is cool, it's great to see. Um, I myself, I'm finding this is a, a bit of a, a bit of a challenge. I'm not used to fishing this deep water, high flowing current, salt water for uh, for these guys. Also, it is one of my 2021 goals. It was a 2020 goal, but didn't get a chance to do it. Um, but yeah, one of my 2021 goals is to catch a Brisbane River, River thready. So for now, I'm heavily focusing on it. Um, yeah, we're gonna get started. Heat for lures there. Went out, grabbed some heavier jig heads because um, last week I found that like three eighths of and a half of an ounce were actually too light. Um, oh yeah, and just this episode and series uh, is brought, brought to you by Tackle Club. Uh, if you don't know what these guys are already, they're a monthly subscription tackle box. Uh, best one in Australia by a long way. They have a whole heap of good brands and I'll go through this one later on. Anyway, I'm gonna put you guys on the chest and we're gonna get to fishing um, because it is almost an awesome part of the tide. Anyway, let's do it. Woohoo, I'm keen. Well, I've got a lot of bait on the sounder around me. There's a lot of micronutrients in here. I'm getting the odd bigger line down the bottom. Not sure if it's anything of interest, but it's hard to move when I've got this much bait around me and it's just consistently flicking. Um, I don't know, but what I'm doing is I've got a uh, four inch magbite shrimp on a five eight ounce hook. Um, or jig head, size four oh I think, or five oh hook. Um, and all I'm letting it do, cast out, sink to the bottom, and giving it a little shimmy shim off the, bot off the uh, bottom of the water. That's because it's a prawn and that's the action they kind of swim with, the little shimmy shim. I love that word, shimmy shim. Shimmy shim. Shimmy shim shim shim. So I'm getting what I think a fish on the side scan here. It's hard to tell because there's a lot of clutter. So I'm going to have to play with that. Um, key. Let's... Uh, Get ourselves situated, lucky down, and lures up. Um, yeah, let's go that one. I know I keep going back to this shrimp, um, but that's just because I got got really high faith, especially for threadies that they'll chase down something like this. Also, I actually quite like this area. We've got what would be shallow water in behind here, pushing out. This pushing out bait and stuff, funneling it out. So these, I'd like to think these pylons would hold fish because there'll be shallow water back there and they'll be pushing, the bait will be flowing out with it. Um, coming down back towards me here. So anything around this structure, I would think, would hold fish. Current, bait, structure, fish. That's how maths works, right? So yeah, calculate catch and shit. All right, let's take this opportunity to have a look through the old tackle club box, what we got this month. Um, so if I just whip a rope in here, oh, look at that, instructions with what to do, this is great. Got a little value, your regular retail price, as you can see, you're paying 50 bucks and getting 75 bucks worth of lures. It's pretty bloody good in my books. Um, this month we got the 
jumble shad. Oh, you know what? I'm going to swap over. I'm going to put one of these on. Ah, oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put one of these on the heavier jig head. So we'll uh, bookmark that bad boy. What else we got? We got some 2.5 gram VMC jig heads. They look pretty good. Pretty mean. Uh, yeah, I like those. What else we got? Ooh, some little flick prawns. These, these things look cool. These will catch. These will catch. Ooh, you know what? I might put some of these on for. Ooh, I'm I'm excited. This stuff's great. Look at this. These ticked grouper game. I have a smell of these. Ugh. Yep, they smell good. They smell real good. Oh, that's nasty. They are. They smell real good, those. Flick prawn, that, that, that. We had a pontoon 21 saunder, little jerk bait suspending. We're gonna tie that onto a rod as well. Um, so we're gonna tie this on, and I'm gonna put one of these on as well. Bugger it, you know what? I'm gonna put one of these on as well, onto one of the random ones. Uh, and we'll save the flick prawn. How good is that? That's a fish. That's a good fish. That's a real good fish. Oh, that's it. That's the fish. That is the fish. That is the fish. That is the fish. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. That is the fish I was after. That is the fish. Yeah, that is definitely the fish I was after. That's a fish I was after, guys. That is it. Whew. I don't know what it is, but it is big. And my hands are so slippery. Whew. Oh, that thing went hard. Oh my God. I was in the middle of texting my partner saying, oh no, it's a stingray. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. And he's eating it too. Oh, that is absolutely gut-wrenching Uh, he's de-hooked himself too. Bye, Mr. Stingray. <sighs> Pushed out a little further. Um, test our luck out here. See if we can find anything. There's bait on the sounder. All right. So moved along we're in a different spot so what's a bit of a 
back eddy in here. Um, I don't know, just trying something different, see if we can make something happen. We are doing something a little bit different. So we've changed tack for today. I fished from five till nine, so four hours um, on that tide change and the start of the run out. Four threadies and a donut. That's two trips now. Two trips, no threadies, but we're slowly piecing together some spots, some some good, some bad, like what lures are, are doing well. What we're doing now though, is we're gonna do a uh, tackle club challenge. Yes, yes, we've cut cut to that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to knock off all the, the lures in this tackle club saltwater estuary box, which we went through earlier. Got them rigged up on a variety of different rods. Um, so we're gonna see how we go. Any fish count, any species, we're just gonna try to tick off as many as possible. But let's do it. Let's, uh, let's get to cranking. All right, well, this current is absolutely chuffing. It is ripping through here, but we're gonna try to tick off a couple of these tackle club lures where I've thrown in the towel. I'm gonna concede a defeat. Um, and we're going to chase some brim. So, what we're going to try to do is tick off as many of these lures as possible. Also, there's a good chance that we could get a thready somewhere in, in amongst this stuff as well. Alright, new SD card. I've tied on lures to oh, better suited rods. Put this plastic on a slightly heavier rod just because it's such a heavy soft plastic. It's a great plastic. The action's unbelievable. Great uh, jig trailer. Brim. Yes. Get back here. Oh, finally. Finally. And he's missed completely and utterly missed it too. Oh. Somehow he has headbutted this thing. So eating it how he should have. Oh well, I guess that's the uh flick prawn done though. See if I can get a fish. A couple of hits already on this little thing. In here, a couple of good ones while I was rolling it. Unfortunately, just no hookup. Um, it is quite a big plastic. Yeah, there's a fish. Yes, choked it. Ah, oh. ah, oh. that has been a grind to get one on this, but I did it. Got it. Oh, yep. He's having a good slog. A good little dig. Not a big fish, but he had a go. Look, he's not too bad. Not too bad at all. That's him. Right there. He's, he swallowed that ticked. That ticked plastic. 
How cool is that? Big crawfish imitation down his gob, just slow rolling it out of the uh, structure. Sweet. Now the hard body to go and we've pretty much ticked off all lures. Bang. Say goodbye to Mr. Brim. Whoop. Getting a lot of hits. I think the uh, I think I just need some smaller gauged, sharper hooks. Alright, what we're gonna do on a spot lock here. We're going to swap out these travels for something a bit finer. A bit finer and a bit sharper. Alright. Oof. So I've just put a stinger treble on. Put stinger hooks on. Maybe that'll get more of the hookups. <laughs> that was cool. That was real cool. That's a good fish too. Well, it's not a bad fish. That's a big boy. Whoo, that's a good way to get the fish off. Oh, it's a good way to tick that lure off. He absolutely smashed it next to the boat. Woo. There it is, the last fish of the challenge. Oh, not the last fish, the fish on that. Yeah, I'd call it the last fish, considering I caught a uh, big eagle ray this morning on that little uh, four inch jumble shad, but that was the last one, the, the 80 mil jerk bait. And I caught a brim on it, how cool is that? Yeah, oh. Damn it. Yeah, there it is. Well, that's actually not a bad brim. It's not a bad one. It's pretty good. Not too bad at all. Whew. It's a solid fish. Yep. That would have hurt. But he's absolutely engulfed that. Well, well, this guy knew what he was doing for lunch. Look at that! Yum 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 yum. Well, this.
got him. Oh, not a bad little fish. Fatty. Anyway, see you, dude. And there we have it guys, another episode of the Hunt for Bronze done and dusted. Today, uh, went out chasing threadies, part two of the, the Hunt for Brisbane Gold. Um, yep, still hunting, still working, but we'll get there, we'll grind it out and we'll eventually get some. Um, I might try a nighttime sec session next time uh, and I will attempt to film that as well, so we'll see how we go. But, the saviour of the day, the Tackle Club box. Uh, yeah, we had a little bit of a, I guess, challenge and we succeeded. Um, all the kind of brim sized lures we, we threw out and we caught fish on. The, um, that ticked flopper thing, this little, uh, almost like a craw trailer, crawfish imitation crab. Banged one on that. Uh, the Saunder, Pontoon 21 Saunder and the Chase Baits Flick Prawn. Uh, but we rigged that on the 1 8 ounce uh, VMC jig head that came with the box. Um, so if you guys watching this, you guys are Tackle Club subscribers and you got a box this month, why don't you just uh, go on, do a challenge, post it on Instagram or Facebook and tag the Hunt for Bronze and uh, I'll see how you did. How you went, not how you did. Bad English. Uh, also, the rods used today, Hunt for Bronze, uh, no, ACM Custom Rods, uh, the Hunt for Bronze Brim Spin, uh, the four to eight pound, and all the other quiver there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, go out fishing, enjoy yourselves, and we out.